Taro, or kalo, is grown and valued as a food source around the world, but you really cannot overstate the significance or value of kalo to the Hawaiian people. We're not trying to make a joke when we say most of us in Hawaii know that we live on islands. Okay, maybe this doesn't count, but I've actually heard a tourist say when pointing to it, is that the ocean? And if so, which one? The Hawaiians, our host culture, knew that the island resources are finite, fresh water being the most critical. They organized their way of life around it, from the tops of the mountains into the sea. The Malama Learning Center and the Makeke Kapolei Farmers and Green Market at Kapolei High School asked Anthony Deleuze, a young Kalo farmer, to teach and demonstrate Kui Kalo, or Kalo Pounding. What I was kind of telling you, yeah, is, is the quality of color that you want to pound and the quality of the color that you can put in a mill can be two different things. This is more starchy. This is what you want when you pound. And if you cut it open, you can kind of see that. that starch how it kind of almost powdery looking. That's what you want to pound. This is already starting to become over mature. And when you try to kui this, it, it's going to be hard to kui. First thing is to have positive thoughts when you kui. Because if not, whatever's in you is going to go into the poi or the kalo. The other thing is there's no one school of, of thought, you know, learn from one school. So somebody on one island might call a certain process one thing and somebody on another might call it another. So for example, this first step is the breaking down of the color. And according to Pukui, who is a native of Ka'u, that's called Pa'kiki. Not Pa'akiki, like hard, but Pa'kiki, which means to smash and to, to crush or to break. According to Uncle Earl Kava'a from Moloka'i, that's called Moku Moku. The reason is because it looks like little Mokus or little islands when you break it up. Next step is you just Breaking it down a little bit more. So if you see somebody else doing them a different way, don't mean they don't know how. If you see somebody else doing them a different way, don't mean I don't know how. It just means that that's what they're more comfortable with. If the end product is the same, what's wrong with that? But what you don't want to hear Especially on an ulu board, because that means that you're gonna have dents in your. <laughs> it means you're hitting too hard. This short video was made possible by the Hawaiian Tourism Authority and the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement. The Malama Learning Center, led by longtime environmental educator Pauline Sato is the group behind much of this cultural exchange. They believe the ways of the past are still relevant in our lives today and can shape our thinking on what we can achieve in the future. It's my top one. Top one? <laughs> that and pizza. <laughs> The Malama Learning Center makes connections through activities such as this with Kalo farmer Anthony Deleuze and other cultural practitioners who have much to share with those who choose to listen.
We hope you enjoyed today's show. We'd like to take this time to thank the Malama Learning Center, Makeke Kapale and Anthony Deleuze. Ahui ho, Malama Hawaii.